Hello everyone, and welcome to our reading of Princess Twilight versus the Ponyville Zoning Board. Is, it, is that a new character and fighting is magic? <laughs> they should yes. make that a character. Anyway, I am reading Twilight. This every there yeah, everything is back to normal. Twilight wiped her brow and leaned on a shovel. Fully repairing Ponyville had been a week long, and then. <clears throat> Wait, why is Twilight holding a shovel? Oh, I, well, maybe she would. I, okay, she's like, I don't know what I'm already doing. <laughs> and the entire town had to pitch in, but it was finally finished. She visited the smoldering husk of Golden Oaks Library, as she had done every day since the defeat of Tyrek, paying her respects as if the great tree were a lost loved one. I often feel that way about trees as well. <laughs> but during Vader's, it was actually Fluttershy. <laughs> Probably was. At least now she no longer cried as she looked solemnly at the black and chunk cheese. I guess oh, it really. Oh, maybe the owl never made it out of life. <laughs> yeah, I assume that's the case. Owlicious, you will be missed. She hung I her. Remember. Mm. She hung her head in a moment of silence before moving on and walking back to the castle. Her new home. Twilight climbed the new lofted steps up to her royal bedroom and flopped down on her bed. In all honesty, though, mm -hmm. it almost sounds like a kind of a comedic skit. She goes over to, you see, like, the library, mm -hmm. it's all burnt down, it's her <laughs> house, and she's sitting there crying, I miss you so much, and then she turns around and goes to her, like, swag castle, <laughs> it's amazing and huge. Yeah. It's like, oh, I guess I'm okay, I got a giant castle. Uh, you know, that's, it's a good way to cheer everyone up. <laughs> it's like the saying goes, the bit, you know, bitches love diamonds, so I gave that bitch a diamond, but... You know, Twilight got a diamond castle, so that's like a million times better. Spike was already fast asleep in the new bed. Yeah, in the new bed next to Twilight's. He had... Twilight's bed. <laughs> exactly. He had worked just as hard as any pony else in the repairs of the town. He doesn't get paid because he's a fucking dragon. Dragons don't get paid. <laughs> Then babies also get paid. There's no such thing as child labor laws in Equestria. Just you know. But then see, there's no such thing as child labor. <laughs> pay them. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Often doting behind rarity as usual. You know, turning her butt. <clears throat> and Twilight had decided that Spike earned a new bed. Wait, he had to earn a new bed? He, if he didn't work, he would have... He on the floor there and he fixed everything. Jeez. Really, really... Diamond floor. <laughs> that actually sounds really uncomfortable. Instead of a basket to curl up in, the purple dragon now slept in a proper miniature bed. Twilight had gotten Rarity to sue him a blanket with a gemstone pattern on it. Which is an aid. <laughs> you know, actually, yeah. Isn't that like giving someone a blanket covered in bacon? <laughs> Just made of bacon? <laughs> Not really. Debbie probably has a blanket made out of muffins. So. Well, yeah, that's fair. Twilight <laughs> sleepily gazed over at the dog barking near her. No. <laughs> at Spike. As she lay on her side, which is but pretty Spike close. Is yeah. It's been proven. It's canon now. Spike was fast asleep, snoring lightly with a grin on his face. Twilight smiled warmly to see her assistant so content. <laughs> trolling me! <laughs> it's trolling you. Twilight rolled over onto her other side and closed her eyes. Good night, Spike, she whispered. She. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and then the narrator changed. It was good to have a new home. Even though I was just got. Like, seriously, it's like you said. Even though I just got g done crying over my last one. Yeah, I really, I really like my new home. It's good to have one. <laughs> uh, the next week went by without much excitement. But the re so that means that like she, I don't remember her crying over her old home. That that home must be like in tears right now. Like she didn't miss me at all. <laughs> but, and no, she lived there for um, like 
15 years. Oh yeah, the one in Canterlot. She just straight up left that one. She was like, I made friends now. Psh, fuck I my don't need you anymore, library. <laughs> oh. The rebuilding of Ponyville complete. Twilight began her quest to replace her library. Do you think, like, Princess Celestia even told anyone where she went? Just people knock on her door and they're like, Hey, Twilight, do you want to go to this person's birthday? She's like, oh, sorry, I... I, <laughs> I forgot Twilight you existed. <laughs> she might not be on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> she had already salvaged what few books were intact from Golden Oaks. I'm surprised any were intact, really. Maybe that, like, magically got them. Yeah. In fact, you would expect her to have put a magic or shit on every single book in that library. Actually, that's fair. I mean, they she probably did some magic to make sure they were all longer lasting. With a fabulous flavor. And had Celestia send over hundreds of volumes of literature from the Canterlot library system and copies of documents from the Royal Archives. The shelves in her room in the castle were already full from floor to ceiling and she had to begin adding new shelves to some of the thus far unused rooms. Hmm. Getting getting diamond shelves for your diamond castle must be a real pain. But she owns like a brother. She, yes, she owns her <laughs> brother. But okay. I mean, her brother owns like a diamond thingy, and they probably have diamond mines where they have like some for slave in them all day, so it's okay. Yeah, that's fair. They just, they just like clone oh, the just, like, hmm? Maybe just like kidnap a few more dragons and have them slave in the diamond mines. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's probably, that's probably what the diamond dogs do now, really. Everyone who stands against the crust <laughs> exactly. the diamond mines. Oh, man. That season eight. That would, okay. that would be pretty amazing. I want I want to see Chrysalis, like, slaving away in a diamond mine. Twilight guessed that with time, she could amass an even ever larger library than before. Take over the wood. Yeah. Be, being an alicorn will do that. Shari had plans for the space, including restoring the function of the public library in the castle. Hmm. So she does remember her castle. Yeah. Well, she didn't fly to it, after all. Twilight hovered she at... She flew into it. <laughs> that... Twilight hovered at the top shelf of one of the new library rooms on the second floor castle. What? Let's see... She looked intently at the line of books on the shelf. Looks like all of this line and fall of the Crystal Empire is here. She tapped a thick book bound in maroon leather with a gold embossed Roman numeral 3 on it. Oh no, the Romans are canon. <laughs> oh no. Uh, shouldn't it be, uh, shouldn't it be a Pegasi numeral, actually? I mean, they're basically Romans. I guess they are. Right, White Hat is not canon, the other ten. Yeah. Would not make head canon. <laughs> I should pick that up again. It's such a fascinating read, and there aren't too many other sources on the history of the Crystal Empire before we restarted. Twilight looked at what the, the fuck floor. was that? <laughs> I looked at the floor and my loud ass texting sound. It sounded like a bird, honestly. <laughs> uh, well, maybe that's the point. Except that isn't sort of even sort of the point. Spike was sitting cross-legged and reading a comic book. She glided down and landed next to him. Oh no, this is right. Be Wait, never mind. I was gonna say this is right before the Power Ponies episode, but that's not right. But time to come around. <laughs> Spike, can you get the stack in the other room for me? Slave? <laughs> wow! <laughs> I know, that's what that sounded. I don't know how to pronounce that word. I believe it is a wog, but maybe that's just me. Sp it's not a word. I, I know, he didn't say a word. Spike. I know, but I made a sound close enough. 
Spike said, startled as he looked up to see Twilight so close to him. He frowned <laughs> close. <laughs> he what is that? He actually tried to close my comfort zone, Bob Woman. I know, seriously. I <laughs> She's gonna make me quit up the Crystal Empire again just for the fun of it. <laughs> and that wasn't even destroyed this time. Found closing the comic book. Maybe it wasn't comic book, that's why it was a stone. <laughs> Probably. Hmm. Maybe it's one of Celestia's books. <laughs> she, I'm sure she has quite a few, you know. You have to amass a lot of books over a thousand years. Sure, I can get them for you. That no slave ever said. <laughs> As he got up, however, they heard a loud knock on the castle doors. Now, who could that be? Twilight turned toward the stairway and walked briskly to the door. Spike hurried to follow her, scared of the whippings he would later get. Right, which, on that note, when, when she wiped her bow at the beginning, I read that as whipped. <laughs> so I saw she turned into one karma. Jeez, that's... Yeah. I'm sure that's how I one karma works. I can't work here. Whips her own face. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's how she gets sweat off her brow. She just whips it off. <laughs> uh... Oh, uh, Twilight grabbed the parchment out of the other pony's ha hand? Sure, let's go Oh that. no, it's Lyra. <laughs> oh no. With a huff. Oh, th why is she... Okay, I guess she's pretty pissed and scanned through it. What is the meaning of this? She shouted. Yeah. What do you mean? It's against regulation. The earth pony staring at Twilight through the small spectacles perched on her muzzle had a very judgmental air about her. God damn it. I said, <laughs> I, no, see. No, uh, we didn't. That was it. Yeah, I didn't realize it was making you read like 80% of the characters. I expected Rarity to show up by now. 30, but probably not. She would probably have like one line, which is. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna say it. Well, Princess Sparker, your castle is in violation of Ordinance 290.7c regarding the maintenance of ponies with cultural heritage. Firstly, the castle is frankly an eyesore to walk, towering over the rest of the city and obstructing the view of Cantalot and Cantalot Forest. You know, that that's already a... that's already a surprisingly fair point. I don't know if I'd call it an eyesore, but how would you feel if you're just in your normal right, maybe house it's and there's eyesore. like... <laughs> Maybe they have it to have a lot where, like, the Philly's playing, like, I don't know, like, hoofball or whatever, end up running into the spikes and stabbing their eyes out. Jeez, that's also... The very... are sharp. <laughs> they are sharp. That's a very morbid way to think about it. It's not uh, my fault. It isn't your fault. I was actually also saying, though, just imagine you're, like, in your home, and all of a sudden, right next to your house is a giant castle that stories, like, you know... It's like 50 stories big. <laughs> but, you know, honestly, said probably just jelly. <laughs> yeah, all right. She probably could buy all of Pony Ray with, like, one crystal for their castle. You know, yeah, that's that's fair, too. I would be pretty jelly of a giant cat. Giant castle made a freaking crystal next to me, but I'll let you continue. That's disturbing the image of Pony Ray as a quaint hamlet. Which works really well when we have, like, the queen pitch of the universe in our town. <laughs> and like also music. get destroyed, like, every other week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that, that's just, that's part of, like, that happens to quaint villages in the medieval days. Yeah. They get raided all the time. <laughs> Secondly, the Crystal Empire are dick of facade of the castle. Several clashes with a more traditional mix of classical earth pony and rather than celestial architecture here. The Pony Bay Zoning Board has determined that as the residents of the castle, you and Spike are responsible for its upkeep and should be reprimanded accordingly. <laughs> and, admittedly, this story is already pretty, pretty funny. I like that. But uh, can you reprimand a princess, really? <laughs> Forever since one night, she could at any moment be like, 
fuck out of my town. She really could. She could be like, give the fuck up. She could even just be like, hmm, really? You don't like my castle. So then the moon. Let me write this letter to Celestia. <laughs> yeah. Let me write this letter to Celestia telling her how much I think you, uh, you should enjoy a nice scenic trip to the moon. Twilight. I get locked in a cage. <laughs> the Earthly Forest on the moon. Yeah, man. Twilight grew more frustrated with the pony's every word. She glared at the pony until the tirade was finished and forced herself to take breaths to calm herself down before she replied. Twilight grumbled angrily through her teeth. To start, the crystalline castle tree-like structure and flowing curved was obviously more reminiscent of the great goaty crystal modern so I don't know what I'm reading. <laughs> Whatever that word means. Then the later article architecture. I think that's modernism, but yeah. Modernism. I'm... I guess it is modernism, but mm. why does it have an E at the end? I don't know. And then she could not hold in her anger any longer. And more importantly, how do you expect me to take responsibility for a house that literally sprouted up from the ground? I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> the earth pony was entirely unfazed. She adjusted her spectacles and blinked. Try to use the logic. It's not why we affect <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Princess Sparkle, but you are the declared resident, and so take full responsibility of the maintenance of the castle and keeping it up to city code. And right now, it's not. I just feel like this is mere, mere trolling. <laughs> it certainly sounds like it. Wait, maybe this is mere, mere getting back for the whole um, Twilight investigation thing. <laughs> sounds about right. Wait, what did we even do to Mare Mare in that game? I don't know. She, I just know that she was a douchebag in that game. She was, she was just a little bit, a little bit. Let's see... She said flatly, the pony turned back to f another form in her hoof, and read in a monotone only capable of being brought forth by an accomplished bureaucrat. What, Bure you can't be bureaucrat, but you tell me that I need to know modernism? <laughs> I'm not saying you need to know modernism, I'm just saying bureaucrat. I don't know why it's a hard word for me. I just, it's, it's hard. It's far, it, it's, it looks French to me, so let's just say it's French. Okay. If you do not endeavor to recite the code violations of your property within two weeks, it is city law, it is by city law, shall be confiscated and you shall be evicted. If the problem proves too difficult to fix the repair, yeah, so it shall be demolished. Jeez, how do you pl how do you plan on confiscating a castle from Princess? How do you plan on demolishing it? <laughs> Wait, I was wondering, like, do you guys have stuff to destroy diamonds? Well, yeah, maybe that's this is actually saying. like Celestia. Maybe Celestia hired Mayor Mayor to throw Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Makes sense, I think. <laughs> Celestia's like, oh, if I. If you can't fix this in two weeks, I'm gonna have to demolish your castle by throwing a moon into it. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and the Luna's like, wait, what? My moon? You can't use it as a web. Uh, that sounds like an amazing episode. Ten out of ten. I hope it's in season four. Yes, time for it. Season four already passed, hasn't it? Um, oh, sorry, yeah, <laughs> season five. <laughs> In this castle, the owner of said property may choose to keep the land the offending breeding is on after it is demolished, or they may say to the city of Ponyway for proper compensation. What? <laughs> Come on, Sapir, you gotta really sell it. Twilight's angry here. What? <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> That's close enough. Twilight screams. <laughs> How can you even think of evicting me? I said I have nothing to do with this. Castle's construction. Can you not get that through your head? Twilight seethed, taking deep, heaving breaths as she controlled her desire to levitate or just blast the bureaucrat with her magic. Oh, Jeez. Yeah, I can't do paper. I, I like I said I, I I guess a little more direct to the moon I than the moon I think you're right yeah well, I think glue would be more accurate. 
Right, it just there's a story where she makes people do paper. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, that makes more sense for Twilight. The bureaucrat shrugged, but y- I... you know what I'm referring to, right? Horses and glue. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Isn't... The bu- okay. I-, I need to stop trying to read the narration. Okay. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. If you have an issue with these charges or feel that you have been unduly charged with violation of city ordinance, you may take it up with po- the Pony with Zoning Board in the town hall and appear your case to them. Twilight. How to eat it a giant tree fit into the whole, like, mm-hmm. town image? Okay. I guess it's a tree, but it was a giant tree. You know, to be fair, yeah, this isn't much bigger. Apparently, they're just mad. I think you're right. They're just jelly. It's, like, made of crystal, and they're like, we want a crystal house. I want a Twilight gift where she's just like, you jelly, bro. <laughs> and that's have, like, a giant castle in the background. Uh, they... <laughs> That would be amazing. I want that. Twilight blinked and sat down, stymied by the bureaucrat's indifference. She levitated the message of the violations and read them through again. You know, she could just, like, make a kitchen fire, and I'm like, oh, I had nothing to do with that. It's just called spontaneous fire. Fuck you. Uh, I wonder if they have laws for that in, like, a, a world filled with unicorns that, like, probably half of them can just say, I don't really like this, like, letter. I'm just gonna set it to fire. I mean, you can't prove that I ever read it if it caught fire. <laughs> yeah. You said that I can appear this, right? The bureaucrat nodded. Yes, within the time allotted prior to eviction, you may file an appeal. It might at least postpone the start of the time you have to rectify the standards of your dwelling. She cast a disapproving glance at Twilight's cra- castle and grimaced. Gr- gr- yeah, she became that thing from McDonald's. What? Uh, there's a there's a, like a purple creature thing. I think it's a purple creature thing uh, called grimace. From McDon- uh, I don't know uh, why. I, I had efficiently blocked everything out that had to do with McDonald's. That's fair. I I probably should too, but you know, <laughs> they have some nice toys. <laughs> you can just you can now be quoted for the rest of your life on saying that McDonald's has nice toys <laughs> because you have just put this on the internet. Well, yeah. <laughs> The scroll floated down from between Twilight and the bureaucrat. Twilight suddenly had an unsettlingly wide grin on her face and a crazed look in her eye. Oh, somebody's gonna die tonight. Press that one, you mean everyone? Yeah. Then that's what I do. Anything to get this mess sorted out. If she were any less experienced at dealing with the public, the bureaucrat would have dropped her mask of apathy and made a hasty retreat. Wait, is she used to being threatened? <laughs> Apparently or, like, scared? Like, like I just uh, imagine, like, Big Mac, like, kicking down a tree uh, and snapping it into, like, yeah, that yeah, could be your spy. <laughs> Well, I mean, admittedly, can you imagine going up to Big Mac and being like, hey, you're far You don't pay your taxes, boy. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I would be horrified. He, he, I mean, he can move a freaking house. <laughs> you don't want to school with him, yeah. Good, I'm sorry it had to be like this. The bureaucrat said, trying to muster up empathy that years of working in the civil service had worn down. I think we're done here, so I just go on my way. Twilight nodded, lost in thought, and starting staring at the notice. Oh, uh, <clears throat> the bureaucrat walked away, and Twilight went back into the castle, and I spaced out. What was that about? Spike asked. I heard yelling. Twilight turned the notice in the air so Spike could read it. Okay, that's true. Okay. We are being evicted. She said glumly. What? Spike grabbed the scroll out of the air and scanned through it. But they can't do that. His voice went soft with fear as Twilight slowly nodded her head. Apparently I'm being a slave is one thing, but he's probably like, I just got in bed for the first time in like my 18 years of life. Now yeah. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> 
Right, exactly. I mean, it must, it must be pretty terrible to just finally have a bed for once in your life, and then, and then some random person comes to your door and is like, you're getting evicted. Yes, they can, Spike. Because it's clearly in violation of several sections of Pony West Municipal Code. I can fight it, but I don't know if that will help. Twilight hung her head. Spike took Twilight's head in his hands. And kissed her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, it's my, it's my, it's my, it's me. You have to, Twilight. <laughs> you have to kiss her. Him, what? <laughs> <laughs> the firm conviction, Spike's voice lifted. See the firm conviction. Hmm. It's Spike's kiss. It's very firm. What? Anyway, <laughs> lifted Twilight's confidence. If if anyone can win at League of Fight, it's you. For some reason, it more it makes me Ace think. Ace Attorney, Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> yeah, though Magic. I. So I feel like Twilight Sparkle is going to be on the other side. She's going to be the offense attorney that just sits there and makes up bullshit. She's like, hey, you can't, you can't kick me out of the house until you have proof. Until you can physically give me a piece of evidence that tells me that my house is out of code. <laughs> right. I guess it wasn't very difficult for them. To uh, yeah. I, I guess that's fair. They already have a lot of evidence. Twilight... Maybe she's Hmm? Maybe she's like pain. <laughs> pain, yeah. Twilight pain sparkle. That sounds interesting. Twilight smiled. Thank you, Spike. She gave him a hug and they walked into the center of the castle atrium. The afternoon sunlight cast a flurry of different colors through the multicolored windows onto the floor. Twilight watched the reds Blues and purples, but the, what about the greens? Those yeah, are, those greens. are ne <laughs> they're necessary right. though. Green is a color spike, and we will not have slave colors in our castle. <laughs> what about purple though? He is mostly purple. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we painted him. <laughs> All right, I guess at least I have because my green then. Uh, it doesn't ca like he can't be perfect anymore because that would put a bad light on her. Yeah, <laughs> I, I see your point. At least we have a more green spike now. On the <laughs> on the compass, rose pattern on the floor and sighed wistfully. The castle still felt cold and lonely, but it had grown on her in a cold and lonely fashion. <laughs> Good and lonely, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and after the battle with Tyrak, it was home for her and Spike now. What about, like, the rest of your friends that all had chairs? I mean, I know it's not exactly home, but... <laughs> well, whatever. Twilight could not bear to see them lose their home again. The next morning, Twilight was busy. She went to the town hall and gathered as many documents on the Pony Mill Municipal Code and zoning laws as she could while she was out. Somehow I feel like she would actually already have this memorized, just, you know, having read the books because they were books, but yeah. Just my books. opinion. <laughs> exactly. She had Spike search through the new library she'd acquired in the castle for anything that might help. When they were done, Twilight had gathered hundreds of books on all sorts of subjects. I, like, I'm pretty sure 50% of those don't have anything to do with anything, and probably 50% of them... She just threatened them because they were about. I was wondering, Nick, there's hundreds of books on the subject of Pony Miss Melissa at last. She's may or may was busy. <laughs> she really was. She, she, she is... really wanted to screw over Twilight. <laughs> she was persistent to, screw, to, like, squeeze every penny out of everyone possible with this code. Let's see. A castle atrium. Twilight had the complete volume of the municipal code, including the full compodium of Ponyville zoning regulations and ordinances of the Equestrian National Guide to Celestia's legal decrees for the second millennium. Jeez. Ah. 
Well, that title, <laughs> Equestrian National Guide to Celestia's Legal Decrees for the Second <laughs> Millennium. Jeez. I don't even know what to say about that. Also, but sure. She had. She even had all 30 books of the Equestrian Tax Code, just in case there's a tax regulation or a loophole she could take advantage of. She, she's like, you know, if we're gonna get. Tr if they're gonna try and evict us anyways, fuck it. Let's try and not pay taxes while we're at it. Uh, right, right. I guess you can't pay taxes for stuff that you get sewn out of anyway. Yeah, that's fair. The next three days, Twilight almost never left the castle and pored over the books and regulations, memorizing as much of the Equestrian National Religional... Well, regional. Okay, that makes more sense, actually. And municipal legal system as she could. Lots, lots, of, lots of legal. For Twilight, she successfully remembered a lot more than was expected of most ponies. Spike was instructed to only let visitors in if it was an emergency and to inform her friends that she was dead and wouldn't be available until she had won this case or was revived by Celestia. Yeah, I think you just completely went off track there. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Twilight, why are you dead? <laughs> Spike said one morning, he stood over Twilight's dead body, trying to be serious <laughs> about that. Is this like, going to turn into Raven Dash for Zen? <laughs> Probably. They just zone out and say whatever now. I think it sounds like a good format. Anyways, so Spike's standing over Twilight's dead body, trying to be serious and not laugh. <laughs> Twilight was... Past dead on the castle floor with her head rested on the pages of an open book. A it's really amazing how this actually works pretty well. <laughs> a small... like just so far, she is dead. <laughs> she she works. will be, yeah. A small damp spot smudged in the ink of the part of the page directly under Twilight's open mouth. Oh, not blood. <laughs> not blood from her exploded brain because she read so much. Jeez. Twilight, wake up. You can't be dead. Please open your eyes. <laughs> Wait, I thought he was trying not to laugh. He's like your slave and whatnot. Wait, he changed his mind. Yeah. He raised... <laughs> At first he was like, yes, she's dead. But then he's like, oh damn, if she's dead, then like, I don't, like, because oh, the masters are just going to kill me. <laughs> That's fair. That's You're... what they do to dragons when their master dies. They play in the dragon and he gets executed. Yeah. Well, I mean, considering what greed does to dragons, that makes sense, actually. <laughs> he raised his... They just kill dragons because they're always guilty. Yeah, exactly. They're... The greed causes them to be guilty. It's just... It makes it's... sense. He raised his voice and put a hand on her shoulder. And slapped her in the <laughs> face. He shook her gently, sighing with relief as Twilight's eyes slowly didn't open. Oh, I guess they slowly did open. She I moaned she because she was a zombie, exactly. <laughs> That's just a zombie. Half her vision was obscured by paper and a paragraph with a large font about the minimum required distance any magical flowering plant had to be planted from the designated edge of the Everfree Forest in order to avoid wild magic contamination. You honestly, what she should have been like, I'm pretty sure this bitch Fluttershy, her cottage doesn't follow regulations, <laughs> so I kicked down her door. Uh, just throw the blame, throw someone else under the bus. That sounds a lot like Phoenix Wright, honestly. <laughs> See? She's learning. <clears throat> Twilight mumbled as she lefted her head. That uh, totally did sound like a mumble, right? Yeah. What time is it? Spike tugged at Twilight's front leg. <laughs> it wept <wept> right off. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Anyway, I need to end here, though. Oh, okay. Thank you all for watching, and we will finish up Twilight's legal battles next time. Hey, more like zombie Twilight's adventures.